I know that we when we talked about the rumble last week, you have no clue who's coming out. No. Um, you know, I, I I'm sure you probably saw some guys backstage, but you have no clue the order or of who's coming out. So all your uh, you know what I didn't see uh, the two big surprises to me were was Shane or Hurricane. I did not see him backstage, so it was a legit surprise. And the other, Rey Mysterio. I didn't see Rey backstage either, so he was a legit surprise. Well, here's my question, and I and I know you don't want you don't reveal that much, but I have a legit question. When when a person does come out, when their music hits, Michael Cole is like right on the money with their you know with introducing them, who they are, their nickname, you know what they've done. I mean, this Cole has to know who's coming out because it seems like he's right on, given their stats quote unquote um when the person I th- comes I, out. you know what honestly i think cole does know okay i mean when i you know when i said that i don't have to go to production meetings uh cole does okay cole, cole goes to production meetings and then he has to you know when you're the when you're the lead uh anchor when you're the when you're the main guy yeah you have to be ready with all that information so i'm sure he knows uh who's coming out uh, next, you know, from one to 30. I had no clue. I had no list. I went into this thing so unprepared. It was like, I, I honestly felt like they had forgotten that they had called me and told me to be at the Royal Rumble. I mean, nobody, I mean, I talked to people and everything, but nobody in charge, I didn't even speak to anybody in charge all day. And so I about, well, I finished doing the pre-show and then I, I headed up to, uh, the gorilla position when when the Royal Rumble started because as you know the the Royal, men's Royal Rumble was on the third match so I had my little uh, you know I went changed into my little old king uh, coat and the crown and all of this stuff and and I just I went up there and started standing around and uh, you know of course the, the the show had started and then um, Vince looked over and saw me and he got up and he came over and said hey King how are you shook hands real quick and then he went right back and sat sat down again and, and, uh, uh, Michael Cole said, Hey, and, uh, so, well, no, Michael Cole was already out there. Um, and so then I, I just felt weird. I thought, you know, we're getting close to the time for the rumble and no, nobody, I mean, nobody had said anything to me, not giving me a run sheet or, you know, uh, or anything. And so finally I went to Billy Kidman who kind of, you know, is the guy that kind of runs the, the, the times the show and all that sort of stuff. And I said, um, uh, because now is now it's time the rumble is about to start uh, and then and so they're running some kind of package that i said was i supposed to already be out there or am i so <laughs> when do i go and so he looks down on the on the sheet and he goes oh no 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 you you got an entrance you, you, you know you got you got your music and entrance and everything and i just went Whew, man <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I said, oh, good. I, I really am supposed to be here. I haven't just dressed up for nothing and everything. So then uh, so then right after just literally right after that, the, you know, they hit the music and I went out and I had not talked to anybody. I had not talked to Michael Cole. I had not talked to Corey Graves uh, or anybody about what to say or what to do on the show. Had no clue what order of anything was going to happen. And and then I just I just took a look. I just had a. Uh, I turned one of my uh, one of my little pieces of paper that I took with me out there, turned it over, and I started writing down the names of the people as they came out and what order they were in, you know. And so that's that's how that's how that thing went. Wow, well, that's that's good for you because they trust, you know. Hey, that you're going to be ready no matter what. You don't need someone to go over what to say or anything that you can. Well, you're, you, you know what? You're exactly right. And I thought about that after the show. Um, uh, like that was one of the things that Kevin Dunn always said about me, uh, they, that they really liked about me that I was, I'm low maintenance, right? They don't have to, you know, they don't have to worry about me. They got so many other, other things that they have to worry about, but they, you know, they, they don't have to worry about, about me on the thing. So, right. yeah. And it, and it turned out good. Kevin Dunn, uh, you know, I always like to ask afterwards and, uh, you know, what he thought of my, my stuff. And he just sent me back one word said, awesome. So that made me feel real good. That's good. 